All right, now we're going to cover syncing. Okay, it's a very handy utility, so I don't want to leave it out of the batch. First off, let me mark or clear all seams. Here I have this object, and I'm going to put some uniform UVs on it. Now, this object marks the starting point for organic objects, so you're not going to get it perfectly as far as uniformity. It's very difficult, so don't think that it's totally 100% possible. What I'm going to do here is go in here and mark some seams, every other one. And I'm just going to go in and mark them. Now, those seams, how do I know what's being marked and unmarked? Let's look at the UVs for a second. Let me hit A, U, unwrap and I have this big mess. So I need to figure out what I'm going to cut over here, but I'm not sure what. Okay. Well, there's this feature over here, this one right here. It's called Keep UV Edit Mode Sync. So what happens is I can highlight this stuff, and I, I can look over here. So instead of being in the 3D land, I can cut it from this window. Okay, let me mark that seam. You unwrap. Okay, now that's starting to look a lot better. It's got a flower pattern to it. Very cool. Now, let's see what it looks like over here with the texture on. Very nice. Uh, what's missing here is the fact that this part right here might not be technically right, so I'm going to make sure of that by going in here and highlight all of it, and then make sure I average scale. Okay, so that'll kind of make sure that everything's correct. I also would question why separate this little dude away from its mom. So, in this case, I'm going to clear the seam and I'm going to clear it right here, across these two. And then we'll unwrap it one more time. So now I have this pattern. All right, so that is syncing. So you can now see exactly what part needs to be cut from the UV to the 3D mesh.